the beauty of some of these woods is incredible, and no two pieces are alike. So when a person buys one of our guitars, it's one of a kind. Creating one of a kind guitars is a passion that 71-year-old Lynn Ellsworth has carried with him for over 40 years. With a love for music, coupled with a knack for woodworking and a yearning to learn from the best, Lynn has managed to be a force in the music business by being an innovator in a time when guitar manufacturing needed innovation. With a medical background and a job that was based in Seattle in clinical laboratory research, Lynn was drawn to creating and innovating in wood, carved from a close relationship with his father, who taught him woodworking, and the help of a close friend. Wayne Charvel and I had a band when we were in high school. I grew up in Southern California. He uh, was doing the refinishing work for Fender. Wayne showed me how to take and cut out guitars and intonate guitars and why it was important the frets had to be a certain distance from one another. So Wayne asked me at one time, I was living up here in Washington and doing cancer research, and he asked me to make a replica of a Fender Stratocaster, but out of some exotic woods came up with two beautiful pieces of uh, East Indian rosewood. So I made two bodies exactly like the Fender Stratocaster, sent them down to California where John K. Steppenwolf saw it. He wanted one. Then Pete Townsend from uh, The Who, he saw it. He wanted one. Then I started doing them for Jefferson Starship and Eric Clapton and Nazareth, some of the big names. But Wayne and I were the first guys to come out and offer different bodies, different necks, and so forth. And at that time, no one was doing hot riding. I mean, you went to this to the uh, music store and you either bought a Fender Stratocaster or a, a Gibson, uh, you know, Les Paul. And so Wayne and I started putting humbuckers, which were uh, pickups that were uh, synonymous with the Les Paul, into strats. So we could get a Strat sound out of it and get a Les Paul sound out of it, out of the same guitar. And so that started the, the hot rodding. The relationship between Ellsworth and Charvel blossomed in the mid-1970s. Under the company name Boogie Bodies, they created innovative instruments for a distinct guitar market. One of the most notable was a guitar that they both created that is recognized worldwide. The one we did for Van, Van Halen, which is called Frankenstein. I made the body and the, the neck, sent it down to Wayne Charvel, who was in Azusa, California. Well, Eddie Van Halen lived in Pasadena, California, and we'd go on occasion down to Wayne's uh, because Wayne was a very skillful luthier. And then uh, Van Halen saw this body and neck, which were, by the way, seconds weighed a ton because that's before I started hauling them out. And he bought those and took it home and painted it up himself. And it's the most recognized guitar in the world now. Today, Lynn, along with partners Patrick Coleman and Mark Martini, have created a business and a line of guitars with the Ellsworth name and reputation attached. Guitars that stand out from the ordinary, like one of Ellsworth's favorites, the Relic Master an instrument built around wood that was destined to be destroyed. I can say these new ones that we got were a thousand-year-old uh, redwood that was part of a boat dock, Lake Ponderé. That wood was given to me by the gentleman that owned the dock because he was going to get rid of it. Well, I needed some firewood, so I brought it back to my house and started chopping it up for firewood, and one of the pieces fell down and hit the pavement. Well, I could hear that piece of wood resonate clear across the street. I thought, oh, gee, you know, this, this would be incredible wood for a guitar. What we do is naturally we seek out the woods and we look for the lightest pieces that we can get. We then uh, bring them in here and we sort them. Then we cut them and then we match them. We try to get as many of the uh, rustic knot holes as we can in these old relic masters. Since his retirement from the medical field and his relocation to Spokane, 
Lynn's mission in creating the best guitars possible for an ever discerning clientele has met success, as evidenced by the talented musicians that want to play his instruments. When you hear a good guitar player, you get into the hands of guys that really can play, then you can really hear what the instrument could do. Craftsmanship, expertise, and an exact attention to detail. Each Lynn Ellsworth guitar strives to meet standards that were set in a young man many years ago. Yeah, my dad was a great, uh, great man, great uh, teacher. Uh, was a perfectionist, and stuff doesn't leave here unless it's it's to the best of our ability to build it. When they're all put together and you put them through the amp and everybody goes, wow, that's incredible. That's, that's what it's all about, is the end product's got to perform and this one performs. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.